Last year, DJI flexed its tech muscles with the Mini 3 Pro, packing incredible technology and a high quality camera into a sub 250 gram drone. That's a hard act to follow, but now the company has unveiled its successor, the Mini 4 Pro, with an even more impressive feature set. The camera is largely the same, but the Mini 4 Pro has much improved obstacle avoidance, eliminating the blind spots on the sides of the Mini 3 Pro. It also has a new feature called Active Track 360 that lets you create camera moves while following a subject. All of that lets the Mini 4 Pro swoop around and follow fast moving subjects while dodging obstacles, the perfect chore for a small drone. Now let's find out if it lives up to DJI's promises. The Mini 4 Pro has been subtly redesigned but is still under 250 grams so it can be flown without a license or registration in many regions. The top, forward and rear facing sensors are now angled to see in all directions and the body is a bit more streamlined. As before, the gimbal tilts up 60 degrees and down 90 and the camera flips sideways to give you full vertical resolution for social media. At the rear is a micro SD port and the Mini 4 Pro has two gigs of internal storage for emergencies only. It comes with one of two controllers, the basic RCN2 that requires a smartphone and the RC2 with a built-in screen. Since it uses DJI's new O4 transmission like the Air 3, it only works with the new controllers. You can also get it with an ND filter set for sunny days, which I'd recommend if you can afford it. DJI also offers a wide-angle 18mm equivalent lens attachment, but it has significant barrel distortion and can cause focus issues. Given its small size and maneuverability, you can think of the Mini 4 Pro as a flying action camera. The lightweight also makes crashes less consequential. Maximum speed is a decently fast 35 miles per hour in sport mode or 26 miles per hour in regular operation. It can handle winds up to 24 miles per hour, which is an impressive figure for a sub 250 gram drone. The Mini 3 Pro was effectively blind on the sides, but the Mini 4 Pro offers protection all around like the Mavic 3 Pro and Air 3. It also features automatic braking and obstacle bypass for extra security. People spending $1,000 plus on a drone may not want to test the obstacle detection limits. That's my job, so I had it follow me while I walked and biked in tree-lined areas. I did have a few crashes, and here's what I learned on how to avoid them. The sensors are visual, so they don't work well in dim light. And dense forest with fine branches is a no-go. The Omni sensors can miss those, but the propellers won't. Finally, the Mini 4 Pro detects obstacles best when traveling forward, less so when going sideways, and worse still when flying backwards. It did work around well-spaced trees with thick branches and plenty of leaves that it could see. It was able to maneuver around those, choose decent routes, and reacquire subjects if they disappeared. That helped me capture some nice action footage, though I was always wary of accidents. Active Track 360 adds camera moves to the usual subject tracking to create dramatic shots. It looks confusing at first, but the idea is pretty simple. You use the so-called steering wheel to draw a route on concentric circles and the drone will follow it, ducking any snags it encounters. You can change parameters like the inner and outer radius, inner and outer height, camera speed and ground proximity. With careful planning, you can capture some gorgeous swooping action track scenes. The usual obstacle caveats apply though, and it also adds complexity, so practice in an open area first. Along with all that, the Mini 4 Pro has DJI's automatic modes aimed at social media users like Master Shots, Quick Shots and Panorama, along with Hyperlapse. It even includes the Waypoint feature from the Mavic 3 Pro, which lets you pre-program complex drone moves and repeat them, a sophisticated feature for a small drone. The Mini 4 Pro uses OcuSync 4 transmission, first seen on the Air 3, that sends 1080 60p video up to 20 kilometers, compared to 1080 30p over 12 kilometers with OcuSync 3 Plus. Those distances are less here in Europe because of transmitter power rules. In use, it provides a noticeable improvement in connectivity, with fewer dropouts and much greater range. It's very noticeable here in Europe, and in the US, you could send the Mini 4 Pro on a pretty long trip. 
The standard intelligent flight battery has a bit more capacity than the Mini 3 Pro cell, but range remains the same at 34 minutes. In real world flying, we saw about 25 minutes before hearing the return to home warning, so plan accordingly. If you have a Mini 3 Pro already, its battery appears to be compatible with a new drone. In the US, you can get the Plus batteries that provide up to 45 minutes of range, but not in Europe. The RC2 first seen on the Air 3 is DJI's third screen controller after the RC and RC Pro. It's significantly better than the RC with a brighter screen, better feel and more precise controls. The other option is the non-screen RCN2, which is similar to the RCN1 model, but with 04 compatibility. The Mini 4 Pro's camera has the same big 1 over 1.3 dual ISO sensor as its predecessor, using an identical 24mm equivalent lens with a fixed f1.7 aperture. The difference is that it now supports 4K slow-mo at up to 100 frames per second or 1080p at 200 frames per second. Both are stored as 30 frames per second slow-mo files, but it's still a nice feature for wildlife, crashing waves and more. That's on top of 4K at up to 60 frames per second and 1080p at 120 frames per second. It has a 2 times digital zoom for 4K and 4 times for 1080p, with a slight loss in sharpness. It supports DJI's D-Log-M, which boosts dynamic range and gives you more flexibility in post. DJI also has a LUT that makes it easy to convert it to regular video. You can shoot in DJI's HLG mode, which again boosts dynamic range, but needs no post-processing. Both support 10-bit 420 capture for improved fidelity and reduced banding. Quality is the same as a really good smartphone, but not on par with a mirrorless camera or DJI's Mavic 3 Pro. Video is sharp with accurate colors and the automatic mode delivers nice video, though it sometimes over and underexposes on sunny or dark days. You can change exposure compensation in that mode, but nothing else. Luckily, a fully manual mode is available for better control of color balance, log, HLG, shutter, ISO, and more. Low light sensitivity is decent, but not great. Better than say a GoPro 12. Shooting at twilight, video was less clear than a similar scene shot with the Mavic 3 Pro. It can shoot sharp 48 megapixel photos or combine 4 pixels into one for 12 megapixel images with improved light sensitivity. You can easily fix over or underexposed photos if you use the raw DNG format. Image quality isn't perfect, but remember that this is a $1,000 lightweight drone. It beats all other models in that category, and it's better than many heavier drones too. Once again, DJI's Mini 4 Pro sets a high benchmark for small drones. It has multiple new useful features, including updated obstacle detection, ActiveTrack 360, O4 transmission and waypoints. All of those make it a solid budget choice for action sports, events, aerial photography, industrial applications and more. Its main competition is the $900 Autel Evo Nano Plus. That model has a similar 50 megapixel 1x1.27 inch camera sensor, 3-way obstacle avoidance, subject tracking and more. However, it's limited to 4K 30p and doesn't offer a remote with a screen. If you have a bit more to spend, DJI's Air 3 offers more stability and an extra telecamera. The Mini 4 Pro is priced at $760 for the drone with a battery and RCN2 controller, $960 with the RC2 controller, and $1100 for the Flymar kit with three batteries and a charger, the RC2, a carrying case, and extra propellers. If you're in the market for a drone in that price range, I wouldn't hesitate. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe and for more on technology check out Engadget.com. <music>